What's up, nerds? Senior Nerd John here. Uh, I know that we heard a reaction to the first Masters of the Universe trailer, but I thought maybe with the second trailer being dropped, you might like to hear from somebody who actually grew up with the Masters of the Universe in the 80s. So let's watch the new trailer together. There's definitely some upgrades to some of the female characters, I will tell you that. <laughs> So, couple thoughts. Um, the Adam versus He-Man uh, look is drastically different than it was in the 80s, which I think really lends itself to um, the hidden persona of Adam. Um, back in the 80s, you know, uh, Prince Adam looked not that different from He-Man, and um, you know, you just had to kind of play along that you understood it. But I mean, what they've done with some of these characters and their looks is off the charts. Um, I will tell you that I am really stoked for Mark Hamill to voice Skeletor. I think if you're going with a voice actor to really personify that character. I don't think you could have done much better after his run as Joker in the uh, Batman comics, um, cartoons in all throughout the 90s. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm digging the, it sounds like we're gonna have some of the, what were the villains in the 80s teaming up with He-Man and uh, his crew. Which, you know, I, I kind of liked the old school good and evil. There, there seemed to be a good variety that were always coming head to head. Um, Skeletor looks sick. Um, and everything they're doing with the magic idea is um, really amazing that they're introducing it. Um, I did not see enough of Eva Lynn in there. Eva Lynn is a fan favorite of mine. She was um, sexy and very evil. And um, uh, that was really um, a character I was into in the 80s. Um, I don't remember Battle Cat being uh, talking in the 80s cartoon and being like a, a cheerleader for He-Man, but um, it could be a bad memory on my part, so I'm not sure if I'm liking Battle Cat talking or not yet, but 
I am stoked to see the continuation of the Masters of the Universe because there is so much to this story that can, can unfold over this series. And with the upgraded animation, I think it's going to be amazing. And with Kevin Smith behind the scenes, protecting this product, this project and this product, um, I think we can see some, some really, uh, really good things. Now, I know some of the younger guys don't get the, the nostalgia maybe that I have for Masters of the Universe. I think they'll get it with this show. I think once they get into these characters and get to see, um, so I hope you're gonna give it a chance. We can uh, follow up after it drops. It drops on Netflix, July 23rd. We'll wanna hear some feedback. Um, but for me, I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to maybe reliving my youth through this show.